Welcome back, everybody, to Farm Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to start off by uh, baling our straw. We have a bunch of straw down on the field from doing our oats. And so we're going to turn that into straw and then probably just sell it at this point. Let's get this guy hooked up. I want to make sure the baler is set to, yeah, it's set to 100, uh, no, I want it set to 180 centimeters, okay. Uh, we do have 84% full in the baler right now, but that will automatically be converted to straw as soon as we start picking it up. It's just kind of the way the game works. And yeah, so let's get the straw baled up first, and uh, then we'll pick it up in our trailer and go sell it and then figure out what our next move is we're probably just gonna sleep after the well we got to get the field cultivated too so maybe we'll do that next and then we might um you know we might actually plant some hay here too i have to i haven't figured that out yet we'll we'll figure it out we will figure it out okay so anyway yeah let's get some straw going here Okay, so we got the straw sold. Uh, made made a couple thousand bucks on it. Nothing, nothing too crazy, but uh, yeah, we got it done. Uh, so I think the next step now is to cultivate uh, this field here. So let's take a look at this. So it shows harvested, but it doesn't show any, anything else on it. Uh, and we do have all those big stones, so we need to pick those up. But I think we might as well cultivate it first. Uh, it shouldn't need lime because we've done that recently. So we'll cultivate it, then we'll pick up the stones. And then I think what we'll do is we'll plant some grass on it, roll it, fertilize it. I think that's the plan. Um, okay, so let's see. It's August 3rd. Let's look at the calendar here. Our next planting, uh, next thing we, that we plan on planting besides grass is going to be soybeans. And we have all the way until the end of next May to do that. So we should be able to get at least one, maybe even two hay cuttings off of this field along with all of our other side fields that are already have grass growing. Okay, so I think that is the plan. So let's go get ourselves a cultivator. Hi.
lost outside of nowhere A stormy rain tried to wash away the dream All right, guys, we got our field ready to go. Um, if you were curious, the extra fertilizer that I bought is actually for contracts because I'm expecting uh, several fertilizer contracts on September 1. So I just bought a bunch now so we'd have it ready to go. Uh, let's go ahead and fill up the spreader and get it all ready to go for tomorrow. Okay, and then I'll uh, I'll come back and get the rest of that stuff later. So that should conclude all of our activities for August. So I'm gonna go back home and sleep. Wake up tomorrow morning, and we should have a whole bunch of fresh new contracts. Don't know if we'll have any baling contracts yet, but we should have quite a few fertilization contracts. I'm hoping. Anyway. Because uh, that's gravy money. And we'll also see how much money we make on, <clears throat> excuse me, our, um, our produce, uh, which we now have set to auto sell. I got to get that lime put away too, or no, I guess that's more seed. Yeah, okay. Our tractor's filthy and it's also in need of repair, but our money's pretty low at the moment. Um, a, a big chunk of that money was the fertilizer purchase, incidentally. Um, so let's get this cleaned up here. Oh, I was going to check something else too. What's the, okay, this field is about half fertilized. Let's see if we can... Put another layer on here. Oh, interesting. It's not fertilizing the part of the field that was originally meadow grass, which means I'm wasting a bunch of fertilizer. So let's reduce the spread there a little bit. Huh. What does it say about that? It still says it's 100% fertilized. It's just not doing changing the texture on it, which is really odd. Okay, well. Okay, let's just give this a, a blip. Okay. And then we'll hit this part here. And what am, what's my spread on right now? Okay, let's reduce that down to about there. 
Actually, no. We should be able to. Let's take it down to the smallest. Very good. Okay, so this field should now show uh, double fertilized. Yep, it's the dark blue. That looks great. And this already shows dark blue, and I think this one is too, only because that was originally grass, and then I fertilized over it again. Uh, but this light blue it means it needed needed to be rolled, but I couldn't get a roller back there, of course, because, uh, you know, of our cotton crop. Excellente. All right. Okay, I'm going to sleep, and I'll see you guys. Oh, I should probably turn my tractor off, huh? Uh, I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow morning. What the heck just happened? Uh, I don't know. What did I do? <laughs> That's one of the the admin tools, but I'm not sure why that turned on. Or one of the power tools, I should say. No, actually, no, that is an admin tool. All right, anyway, nevertheless, I'm going to run up to the loft, and what time is it? Actually, it's only 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, I'm going to go over to Mama Joe's, uh, get some, get a late supper here, or, or late lunch, I should say. Of course, in the Midwest, I think they call lunch supper, and then dinner is actually dinner. And anyway, I'll see you guys on September 1st, and we'll see what the day holds for us. All right, it is morning, and it is also September 1st. We had ourselves a nice little sleep in the hammock there on a warm summer evening. And look at it. It's a beautiful day. The sun's out. The temperature is... What is the temperature? The temperature is 65 degrees. Nice and comfy right now. Very, very light breeze going on. Okay, let's take a look, first of all, and see... Uh, how we did on, well, actually what's for sale. <laughs> Look, can you believe that for goodness sakes, man, we just bought this a few episodes ago and now it's like about half price for goodness. Well, okay. What what's that? That's a, oh, that's a topper. This is a telehandler, but not really something we need at this point in time. What would happen if this is, oh, oh, you know what, though? That's for milk. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that's for milk. So that doesn't do us any good. I mean, what, when we get cows later on in the future, we may get one of those. But that's right. I forgot. These are specific. So they're, you know, some are for water, some are for milk, some are for fertilizer. Okay. Um. All right. So that's all that's there. And I had, by the way, I had inadvertently leased a power harrow yesterday, in-game yesterday, and I don't know how I did that. I mean, I didn't mean to do that. So, and that cost us like 1200 bucks. So I think I'm going to, uh, I'm going to give myself that money back. Uh, so add, remove money. I'm just going to give myself $1,200. There we go. Okay. Because here again, I, I don't know how that happened. I didn't mean to do it. I didn't use it. So yeah, I'm getting that money back. Uh, all right. Now we're going to go here and we're going to see how much did we make off of our auto sell on our produce? 898 bucks. Okay. So, so for one day of, you know, of, of auto selling our produce, we, uh, we made 800, 898 bucks. Okay. So that's, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, the twelve hundred dollars doesn't count. Uh, so for yesterday, uh, we did a lot of stuff yesterday, but we spent about eighty five hundred dollars on just leasing costs alone. I'm trying to think, did I lease anything for any other reason besides getting that field ready? So you know, one of the things I was thinking about is, um, do we? 
wage payment. Yeah, I, I hired some workers uh, to do some of the, um, what am I trying to say? Oh, for some help me with some of the contracts because I had a bunch of plowing and cultivating contracts and I just didn't feel like doing it all. So yeah, I hired some workers. I'm probably going to start doing that on a fairly regular basis too. Uh, anyways, I completely lost my train of thought. So what what I wanted to look at though is, uh, is we, we basically made $898 off of our produce with auto sell, meaning we didn't do any manual labor or effort whatsoever yesterday to make this work. And we looks like we still have a pallet of strawberries too. Do we have any lettuce or tomatoes left over? I wonder why that strawberries didn't sell. I don't know. We might have to go manually uh, sell that. Just take it over to Mama, uh, Mama Joe. All right. The main thing we want to look at for today are contracts. Okay. So, oh, look, we got a baling contract. Um, this is silage bales, and it's on field 17, which is pretty s relatively small. Yeah, really small, actually. So we can actually just use our own equipment for that. Well, on the other hand, we're only losing $87 if we use his. But, nah, let's just do that. I I'm not going to do weeding because you hardly get anything for it. And if I use... Her equipment, it's she's charging me like a thir two thirds of the of what she's gonna pay me. So yeah, it's just not worth it. That just seems like totally unbalanced. Okay, there's our there's a fur contact uh, contract. So let's take that. Another fertilizer. Ooh, and a big fertilizer. Okay, that's gonna bring us some money. Another pretty decent fertilizer contract. Two more. One, one not bad. Another one there. Yeah, see, I figured we were going to get some FERT contracts today. That's why I bought that extra fertilizer. And there's another one. Ooh, nice, a $7,000 one. Take that. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so yeah. Uh, that'll, that'll replenish our coffers a little bit. And we don't lose any uh, borrowing money from it. And I probably have enough fertilizer to do all of those. Maybe we'll see. So, yeah, we'll make a little chunk of change off of that. We're currently sitting at 12, uh, almost about $13,000. This is a little bit shy of $13,000. All right. So, we could go uh, take that over to Mama Joe's and sell it, I guess. But I'll do that later. Um, I think what I'm going to do, guys, here is just cut the camera now and just get going on these FERC contracts. They won't take me very long to do. I'll bring you guys back when we're done with the fertilizer contracts. And uh, hopefully, you know, we'll have a, a nice chunk of change, extra chunk of change, more or more money. I don't know what I'm trying to say <laughs> um, by that time. Okay, so see you in a bit. All right, guys, uh, we are finished with our contracts and I'm just dropping off the bales here now. We might have a little bit of an issue with the baling contract because my baler was already approximately half full with straw and set to 185 centimeter bales. Uh, was it 185? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, 185 or 180 or whatever the largest setting is. And um, so what? What? When you already have hay in the baler, it's always going to come out as whatever size it was last set to so i readjusted it to 150 because they have to be um, 150 or 125 to make silage bales but the first bale that popped out is this big grass bale um so i'm hoping i'm you know still can complete the contract that we're pulling enough hay off the field to do that now if we can't then we can go back to one of our hay fields and just cut enough to make uh, one final bale here so let's go ahead and drop the two off that we do have and hopefully this will finish the contract for us and then this big grass bale I'm just gonna give to the biogas plant too because there's not really any reason um, to keep it I have not there's nothing I can do with it at this point we could uh, if we had you know like some sheep we could give it to sheep you can give it to cows too, but if you give straight up grass to cows, you don't really get much uh, from it. You at least want to have hay. 
Okay, good. So it did complete the contract, and we're good to go. All right. So now let's um let's go into here and get the money from it, and that leaves us now with uh, fifty-one thousand six hundred and sixty-two dollars from all the fertilization contracts and this one bathing contract, and then whatever we get for this grass bale. Let's just drop, drum, bleep, drop that off right over here. Um, oh, maybe this place doesn't take straight up grass bales. We might have to take this up to the animal dealer or Johnson's Market or something. Uh, let's get a little closer just to make sure that it's not what the deal was. Yeah, okay, so it looks like they don't take these bales here. So we'll just pick that back up. That's uh, interesting. <laughs> okay. So yeah, let's uh, let's take a head back to the base. Uh, we also have that one pallet of strawberries that we're just gonna drop off. Well, actually, you know what we should do is take a look at the prices because if we have to run up the Johnsons or the Animal place anyways uh what am i looking for prices i'm looking for this no this okay so we have an extra pallet of strawberries best price right now 230 is the bakery actually okay so yeah we'll i guess we'll drop that off at the bakery which is just right down the street from our place so let's take this stuff back and then i'll just run this grass bale up to um Either the Animal Dealer or Johnson's Market might might just do that off camera. I mean, we're not we're not going to get that much money for it. This is grass is the le gives you the least amount of money. Okay, I think what I'll do with this is I'm just going to put it on top of here for now. Okay, I left my mower and baler out just in case I need would need to make another bale, but we don't, so I'll get that put away later. I'm curious though, can I actually pick this pallet up with these clamps? If I can, that would make loading these quite a bit easier because getting the forks underneath there and getting them level and all that can sometimes be a royal pain in the butt. Let's just see if we can do this. It's not the conventional way to do it, but if we can. Hmm. Okay, I got a I got another idea. Why don't we do try this? Quite what I had in mind. There. Nope, guess not. All right, well, it was worth a try. What if we... What if we tried it from the wide side? Just so it had, you know, has puts a little more pressure on the pallet. We're experimenting here. This is a science experiment. The important thing is that we clamp the pallet and not the strawberries, because if we hit the strawberries, we'll squish them. I mean, you wouldn't in real life anyways. Probably wouldn't happen here, but you never know. Okay, that got a hold of them. I mean, it glitched into it, but these clamps glitch into the left um, hand, I guess you would say, on the clamp, paddle, whatever, always glitches into anything that I pick up, so. All right, let's run this over to the bakery. Make a, I don't know, 100 bucks or so. 
That's the output. This is the input over here. All right. Well, it's taking them. 115 dollar Mickey Hala. All right. My guess is that that pallet didn't auto sell because it was already staged outside before I had adjusted it. That's probably what happened with that. So that's interesting to know. You know, I suppose we might as well run this bail up to uh, Johnson's or Animal Dealer because we're done for the day. We have nothing else to do today. Uh, what am I looking for? We are looking for just straight up grass. Grass. Animal Dealer is the only one who will take those. For 41, okay. Yeah, we might want to put <laughs> our weight on the back of here. I kind of wondered if that might happen. This is a very large bale, after all. Okay, that should help. All right, let's run this up the animal dealer and offload it. And make, make a little bit more moolah. Not very much, but a little more. And then I think uh, that's probably going to be it for this episode. Um, I do want to talk about something. I watched a, a couple of videos about which crop makes the most money in Farm Simulator. And the, um, the conclusion on the video that I watched, which I think was from Farm Sim Guy, but don't quote me on that. can't remember. Yeah, that might not be correct. Anyway. Because I watched like three or four different videos and not I don't know that they were I don't think they were all from the same person. But anyway, the point being is that the conclusion that they came to in that video is that sugar beets make you actually make you the most money when it's all said and done. But they also pointed out that silage actually could be considered the top crops by virtue of the fact that you can get multiple cuttings in a single year, whereas when you plant pretty much any other crop, you you can only harvest it once a year. So it makes me wonder if I should bother planting soybeans on all of our fields, especially since I've already gone to all of the work to get them set up for hay. So it seems to me it's going to be we're going to be further ahead economically speaking, financially speaking, whatnot. Oh, we got 316 bucks from that. Nice. To just harvest that little cotton field next month and um, and then turn that field into hay and, and then just, or I'm sorry, into grass and just do silage on our current property. And then as I acquire new fields, you know, probably just turn those into to grass fields too and just pretty much be in the silage business. Now, you know, once we get chickens and once we get cattle, uh, we're also going to need to provide grain for the chickens and hay for the cattle. And if we ever get sheep, like if we want to start working in the wool business at some point, we'll need grass for them. But I don't know. I, I mean, I'd like to harvest, maybe plant and harvest at least one of each type of crop at least once. I, I heard sugar cane's a real pain in the neck, though, <laughs> just to do it, you know. But, I mean, we've already done wheat, we've done sunflowers, you know, in contracts, at least in harvesting. So I haven't made that decision for sure yet, but... Early on, anyways, you know, while we're still kind of in struggling, I mean, we're not struggling, but we're not getting rich either. We're just growing our business and money's still relatively tight. We have to be frugal. 
it might make the most sense for for me just to do silage for now so i'm thinking about that and uh, also what there's one other thing i want to mention hold on one second here okay so one of you guys left me a comment uh, in fact it's my buddy cj uh, left me a comment saying we have such a small amount of cotton on this field that we might not even make a profit on it at all um, I guess my only thought about that is we never invested in that field in the first place I mean it was already in place and it's already fully prepared um, but can we m make even one bale out of it I guess is the question because if we can't then that's where we might get in trouble because I don't know that we can sell can we sell cotton that's not in bale form um, because if we can't, then CJ's right. We should just plow that under and turn it into grass and call it good. I, cotton is was one of the crops that were a little bit more profitable, but you know we we just don't have that much. But it's a thing. Uh, so here's the deal. I'm I'm gonna see if I can research if cotton can be sold in non bale form. If it can, then we'll go ahead and harvest the field because we might as well. Of course, well, here's the other thing though. We we gotta we're gonna have to lease it. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to lease equipment for that. That changes things a bit, doesn't it? Let's uh let's look at that. So we're gonna need a cotton harvester, cotton technology. Oh my word. If these are the only two options, and this is the cheap one. It's going to cost us $24,000. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you are absolutely right, CJ. It didn't even occur to me. Um, is there any other w option for harvesting cotton? Is there sugar cane, cotton technology? Okay. Cotton wheelie grab. I, mean, I don't even know what the heck that means. Oh, it's a transport thingy. Okay, gotcha. That must be a transport. That's transport. What does this do? This is a bale loader. See, these are all just bale loaders. They're not going to let us actually harvest the cotton. So you're right, CJ. There's absolutely no way that makes sense for me to do that. I mean, it's going to cost 24000 just to lease the harvester. Oh, my word. Okay, that answers that question. Yeah, we are. We're plowing this field under. I mean, it's too bad I didn't realize that sooner. Um... We're plowing this field under and we're turning the grass. There's just no point at all in harvesting that cotton. And the only other po possible option is if there's some really cheap option on the mod hub. Um, let's look at that real quick before I let you guys go. Uh, we'll save our game here. Head out to mod hub. Yeah, it, it just hadn't even occurred to me until CJ said that, that that's probably not viable. Um, okay, so let's see, cotton technology, cotton right here, okay. $783,000? Oh! Uh, and 900, yeah, no, $913,000. <laughs> no way, you guys. Man, if you're going to be in the cotton business, you better have one heck of a big field for those kind of prices. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, that expl that that answers it. So, guys, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go rent myself a plow. I'm going to plow that field under, just like you said, CJ, and we're going to throw some seed down there and turn that into hay, too. And I think for now, um, and you know, until we get a little bit more land and, and we start getting to the point, you know, where – we can say we're we're making decent money, and I'm not even sure exactly when that point's going to come. I think I'm going to just stay in the silage business for now and, of course, keep doing contracts um, and then go from there. So let me know what you guys think in the comments about that, if, if, there, if you think that's a good idea or if you think it's not a good idea and why. And then we'll, we'll go from there. But like I said, eventually I'd like to at least try each type of crop once, um, you know, as time goes on. All right, that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. Could I say that any faster? <laughs> and we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.